Meghan Markle and Prince Harry will soon be welcoming their first child and Meghan remains dedicated to her royal duties, even jetting off to Morocco later this month. But is Meghan too pregnant to travel and what is the latest travel advice for expectant mothers? Meghan Markle and Prince Harry will be visiting Morocco at the request of the Queen's government later this month, Kensington Palace has announced. Full details of the visit are yet to be announced but Meghan has been busy so far in 2019, keeping up with her royal duties. She has visited several charities she is now patron of, like Mayhew as well as visiting the National Theatre and a day with her husband in Bristol. The statement from Kensington Palace which announced their upcoming trip abroad read, The Duke and Duchess of Sussex will visit Morocco from Saturday 23rd February to Monday 25th of February 2019. This visit is at the request of Her Majesty's government. Meghan and Harry have a lot to do before their child arrives, including moving into their new family home at the recently refurbished Frogmore Cottage. Keeping busy, Meghan was last seen in public at the Endeavour Fund Awards on February 7. She wore an outfit by Givenchy, showcasing her growing baby bump at the event, which honoured wounded sick and injured servicemen and women who have taken part in sporting and adventure challenges over the past year. Is Meghan too pregnant to travel? According to the Royal College of Obstetricians and Gynecologists RCOG, it varies from woman to woman and depends on how your pregnancy has been. Their advice states, if you have a straightforward pregnancy and are healthy, there is no evidence that changes in air pressure and or the decrease in humidity have a harmful effect on you or your baby. RCOG also advises the safest time to fly for pregnant women is, before 37 weeks if you are carrying one baby. From 37 weeks of pregnancy, you could go into labor at any time, which is why many women choose not to fly after this time. If you are carrying twins, the time varies. RCOG suggests that this should be before 32 weeks, if you are carrying an uncomplicated twin pregnancy. Meghan told fans gathered in Birkenhead on Monday, January 14 that she was six months pregnant. Well-wisher Carla Gandhi from Wallasey, who was in the crowd with her four-year-old daughter Sophia, told People, we asked her how her pregnancy was going and she said she was six months and she tapped her tummy. Six months pregnant equates to around 29 weeks, so flying more than a month later at around 33 weeks, Meghan is within the safe zone for women expecting one child. However, pregnant women could experience side effects during flying, which could cause discomfort. Expectant mothers should also look out for deep vein thrombosis DVT, which is a blood clot which forms in your leg or pelvis. Pregnant women and women up to six weeks after giving birth are at a higher risk of developing DVT say the RCOG. Mr Narendra Peasel consultant gynecologist at London Gynecology told Express.co.uk, most airlines have a limit at 32 or 34 weeks so best to check with your own airline. Some airlines also need a certificate from your doctor. The main thing to worry about is risk of thromboembolism. So wearing compression stockings. Hydration and mobilizing are wise precautions. Also assess your own risk of going into labor, rupture of membranes and other complications which cannot be dealt with easily on board. So best to avoid air travel if you perceive any of these risks. The question you should be asking is is this flight absolutely necessary? If it is not, best to stay in the security of your own surroundings. Before your flight. It is worth having a checkup with your doctor or midwife to confirm the journey is safe to make.